What up guys, Mountain Nick here with another part of my FIFA 19 AC Milan career mode here and this video we'll be playing two more matches but first of all there's one more signing that I want to do and that is this player here, Deo Upicano from Red Bull Leipzig again he's going to be one of the players that I'm going to develop for the future so let's put in a transfer bid for him I'll look to offer about 17 million at the moment see what they say about it they're looking for 20.4 million which is only about 3 million above what we are put in for but I'll accept it because I do really want to get him as he is a really good young talent in real life as well so let's just go over and negotiate his contract here now for now I reckon he'll be a sporadic player but they're looking for a rotation player for the squad role I'll accept that five years on the contract length that's what I was going to offer him anyway no release clause don't want that either and then for his wage I'll give them about 30 grand a week. Let's see what they say about that. They accept that. So, welcome Deo Upicano. So, in the two matches that I'll be playing today will be against Roma here in a home game, and then against Cagliari away. Hopefully, we can get some better results then the last episode where we drew against Genoa which we should have won and had a really unlucky draw uh, unlucky loss against Napoli where it was an own goal that got scored so I'll get through transfer deadline down here there's no other transfers that I want to do except for Upi Kano but before I sim anymore, I'll show you how much we've spent in the transfer window. And we've spent 170.4 million on a whole lot of good players that will definitely be help us get to what we want to get to, which is to win the Champions League final. And in this whole transfer window, as you can see, there's been a total spent of one of the day. 830 million in total so let's sim in this last hour and get our next lot of squad reports that will come in and we got some players going out on international duty which is good it is a youth monthly squad report so we can see here Gasparoni who's a, a potential uh, Scout future star, star is gone and he's 57 overall at the moment hopefully he turns 16 years old pretty soon so I can get him into the first squad and to see what uh, potential tag he's got and here's uh, other three players that I've got here as well who are looking alright at the moment as well and let's have a look at our squad the scouting reports, this guy looks good this guy's got also a pretty decent potential this guy not good uh, this guy bad overall but could have decent potential but not interested this guy again has got decent potential so I'll take him this guy won't either this one from Brazil here he's not looking good but this guy is pass on him definitely pass on him he's not interesting and neither is he pretty underwhelming one that was and he's our Italian uh, scout not looking good so far for this guy but this guy from Tarn has got might get a good potential and so my, this guy might have one as well so we'll see how they go this is the squad that I will be 
playing with today against Roma in this first match. It's almost been the same squad for the first two games, but I still have faith in the team with what I've got here at the moment. So I'll see you when the game starts. It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. The interest has been enormous. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. We really need to get off in a good start in this match today. After, as I said, the two previous results weren't what we wanted, so let's hope we can get a good result here against Roma in a pretty big rivalry match here at the start of the season. So let's get it started off with Higuain kicking it off here. Kese just pass it around a bit, get the feel of the game. Just play simple passes as well. Suzo here. Wasn't any good passing up from Zaire over to Castellejo. Higuain, Bonaventura now with the ball. Gets a cross in. Oh, unlucky there. Quick start to the game there. Delit here to Biglia, who almost loses it out. Romagnoli over to Kesse now. But he gets the ball through to Suzo. Suzo out on the wing. With the cross now, Castellejo, yes, 1-0, Castellejo with the header, 20 minutes into the game, this is definitely what we've been lacking in the first couple of games, but at least we can get a goal in this one, great header and a great cross as well, let's hope we can keep in the lead and get a few more goals in here, definitely a great, great diving header there. Our first goal scored for us anyway. Let's hope there's many more to come. You've got the throw here. Biglia to Suzo now. Back to Biglia. To Rodriguez. To Bonaventura. Higuain. To Kese. Kese finally with his first goal of the season after getting many, many chances in the first couple of games. 2-0 now, 27 minutes gone, definitely what we needed, try and get a third goal here to consolidate the lead, but we'll just not rush to get it, just pass it around, try and keep the possession, Kese now, through to Higuain, who doesn't really have the pace, Back to Kesse. Kesse with the shot, but it's a great save by Rufier there. Only a few minutes left to go in this first half. Kesse now over to Castellejo. Gets the ball to Rodriguez. First touch is great, but Rufier gets the ball from the cross. Gets it up forward to Jekko. He does a 1-2 there. Gets it forward to Uda. He tries and gets it over to El Shirao and does, but it's a bad touch show. Gets it in, but it gets to only us as we uh, play the ball out. Kese now with the ball. Last attack of the half, most likely. But that ball was a bit too heavy there. And it's half time now. 2-0, definitely been a great half. Didn't make any changes for this second half here now. Don't need to yet anyway, considering we have the 2-0 lead. As Roma try and get it forward with Pellegrini with it now. Gets over to Under, but he misses again. And we get a, another goal kick. Donnarumma gets it to Lit. To De Litnia, to Bonaventura, to Castellejo, gets a ball to Rodriguez here now on the overlap. 
He gets it back into Castellejo. Castellejo. But Suzo. And Suzo gets it in. Don't know what Roma's defence was doing there. But 3-0 now. Don't really need to do any much more in the match. Oyaz Bell with the ball now. Gets into Koric, back out to him. Cross into the box. And they scored there. It's 3-1. It was a great volley by Pastore, I believe it was. And it is. Definitely not what we want to see with the defence any time of the game. But it definitely was a great volley there by Pastore. Donnarumma couldn't do much about that. They're throwing. There's not much time left anyway, so we'll just hold the ball here in the corner. Just pass it around. Keep it simple. Definitely been a better game than this one for us. Definitely is what we wanted to see in the first two games. But it's going to be end of the game here now. Great 3-1 victory for us. First win of the season as well. And after these highlights, I'll see you in the next match. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances. Put a lovely incisive pass gets his cross in they've broken through here with the first goal might that just be the vital strike Ibrahim it could be a chance well he scored and it's a big moment for them in the match they've Push their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point. Suso, a goal right into the corner by the post. And this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. Shots on here. Well, it's one step in the right direction with this goal. And they have reduced the lead. Saw the goal and went for it. And the goalkeeper got across to it. Got some more training I'm going to do here before the next game. And we can see that Donnarumma, Cutrone, Calabria... All go up by an overall. Donnarumma to 85. Good training. Calabria, Calabria get to a 79. Since we have Donnarumma on the international break, I'll, I've put Pizarri in, who has got pretty decent potential himself. And I will be start training him from now on, so I can be the backup for Donnarumma for the future. And he gets some good first training sessions in there as well. And for this match again, I'll be sticking with the same lineup that we beat Roma 3 1 with. Got to stick with a squad that I'm going to be playing with most of this, this season anyway. So let's hope we can go out and get this win to get our second one of the season. It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. The interest has been enormous. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. Hopefully we can continue this.
as you can say, win streak going if you can call it one. Even though it's only been one win. But surely this should be a much easier game than it was against Roma. But let's not get our hopes up that we'll be scoring six against them. But we're out here just to get the win nonetheless. Even if it is 1-0. So let's get it started here as Cagliari kick off. We put the pressure on here pretty early on. Higuain with the interception there. Gets over to Suzo. Back into Higuain. Or oh, almost with Higuain. Great save by the keeper. We've got a corner here now. Ball gets whipped in. Back to Higuain and he gets a header in. Definitely another great start that we wanted to have. Great header from the corner there by Higuain. And let's have a look at the replay at it. Plenty of set pieces. We haven't scored any set pieces this year. But great header by Higuain getting up before the other two defenders there and able to get in, get it in back post. 1-0 and it's only been a couple minutes. We do still get end up with the ball anyway. Bonaventure into Higuain. Higuain with the great touch there. Iron a great strike there on his left foot. 2-0 here and 2 for Higuain. Definitely needed a few games to get going here. But he's got two in this game here. Great, great touch to get around the player there. And great finish as well. 2-0 to Milan. A few minutes to go in this half with extra time. Gets it over to Suzo now. Suzo with the cross. But Bonaventure couldn't get to it. And they get it out at their box. Trotter with it now. Still with it. Taking himself. Gets it to Castro to Gio Pedro Chisana. But there's a penalty. Don't let it be a red, please, ref. Oh. What's going on? Definitely shouldn't have slid in. Way too late there. Not what we want. A red card. But Donnarumma with the great save there. Still 2-1. Still 2-0. As the first end halves. First half ends. Second half beginning now. With 10 men, as the lit got saw a straight red in the first half, right at the end. The ref gave a penalty, but they missed it though. But it was a great save by Donnarumma, as he winds offside here. Clavan with the free kick gets it to Castro now, who tries and gets over the trucker and does with color on him now. And Padre gets a deflection. And we're on the break now. Castellejo with the ball. All by himself. No, El Sodom, we've got a running man in now. And it's Higuain for his hat trick. Only way to get it. Perfect day, definitely, for Higuain. Definitely don't need to worry about seeding with 10 men now we've got a really good cushion again another three goals like last game let's just see it out no more silly mistakes it's don't want to overdo things again but we do work that into the box again good trying to Kesse and Kese with another miss. Should have a miss compilation for Kese for this season. I definitely should have done a bit better, but game's almost up here. Kragno with the goal kick. Romagnoli gets header, but Cagliari do end up with the ball. And it's end of the game. 
another great win there. And Higuain gets a match ball. Perfect day for him. And we'll be able to see those goals in the highlights. And I'll speak to you after them. with the ball in behind Higuain Milan get a corner in goes the corner Higuain he scored fantastic start really quick off the blocks here and they've given themselves a terrific Higuain, surely, well he scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match, they've pushed their lead now to two ahead, they've played well to this point, but sometimes... Let's fly! He's reached up and turned it over. Scrap. He's given it penalty. Oh, I think he's got it spot on to definite foul. He's off. Well, I don't think anybody, even the player. He's in now. Wonderful finish. Hat trick. Goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase the shot's on well he hit it well enough yeah maybe just a bit off balance there actually he's got his shot off now well that was so close to going inside the post but it's just straight past the outside yeah i think he's beaten the keeper you know but lovely to watch the ball being passed they've opened them up here very very close just past the post well i think half the crowd you know thought they was going to nestle in the corner of the net there now there were definitely two great games there the 3-1 win against roma the 3-0 win against cagliari so if you guys did enjoy that, please do subscribe. That is the most important thing to do. Uh, like the video, share it with all your friends, and tell them to subscribe as well. And in the next episode, we'll be playing our first Europa League match against Olympiacos. And then we'll be playing against Atlanta at home. So I will see you guys then.